welcome back to the channel so before I get started on my finished pages this month I've got a really special shout out um, to do and I was sent a beautiful gift from a very special young lady who with her mum had saved up her pocket money to buy me a special colouring book and I was so touched by it I was going to do a page in it this month but um I didn't get round to it what with finishing work and everything so I'll do that next month but I'd like to say a massive hello to Zoe and to say to you I've seen your art your mum's shown me and you are incredibly talented young lady will you please make sure that you keep going keep doing it and feel free to send me pictures because it was so special when your mum sent those pictures you're very talented so keep doing it sweetheart and thank you so much for your gift and I will be showing it very soon all right folks I, I, I felt I needed to, to do that so I know she'll be watching and um, she's been waiting for me to talk about the book that I sent that she sent for me so so June's pages my goodness where is the month going it is June's pages isn't it it, it, it yeah I was just thinking crikey June yeah, June's pages. So this is a little watercolour that I did. Um, so I just thought I'd show you that. I was really proud of it, actually. Um, well, not much I can say to it, is there really? Came back off of um, a week's break in Cornwall. And that was kind of my inspiration. I was really pleased with how the beach and the little um, the shoreline came out. So, yeah, I wanted to just show you that. And then just quickly, I've been practicing in my sketchbook so that um, um, it's more, um, I don't know, private, I suppose. I'm not, I'm not sure whether you guys want to see this stuff or not. But that was last month. I did that while I was on holiday. And then I did a poppy for um, Remembrance Day. And yes, I did. I did freehand that. I know. Come on. And then... I did um, a butterfly with a bokeh background. This is a, this was a stamp, but I'm not sure I like the colours that I'd put in the background. If I could do it differently, if I could do it again, I would do it different colours. But there we go. And then I did um, this watercolour, um, like autumn, well, winter scene, wouldn't it be, with this sunset, grey grey sky and the sun rising. And then it starts to pick up, I think, a little bit. So I did um, a willow tree. This is um, acrylic paint. Couldn't sleep one night, got up and decided I was just going to ad lib and have a go. So I did this little willow tree sitting in like, um, I don't know, a pond somewhere. <laughs> and then another flower. This is acrylic. Um, I really like working with acrylics because if you fluff up, you can just go back over it again. This took that took me ages to get that right. Um, and then I was just prattling about yesterday. Did a little pink cap with some kind of crazy feather coming out of it. Uh, this was with um, acrylic paint pens, and I did the same with this little circle acrylic paint pens. So just really enjoying working in here, and kind of I'm trying to do a bit. I say every day, but I'm trying to do a little bit every day. Um, and sometimes I am. I'm just working on scraps of paper and, and then throwing them away like you do. But uh, you're just really enjoying practising and honing in my um, drawing skills. Still not very good, but I mean, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's like colouring, isn't it? When you first start, you know, things... Um, things get better. I was super pleased with how the trunk of this tree came out. I love it. So, you know, the, and the shape of the, my flower. So you just got to give yourself time and a little bit of credit and then maybe it'll come. Anyway, so that's my pratting about with watercolour mediums or water mediums. And then let's get into the colouring books that I did. So um, me and my Patreons, we, we've got an array of books that we colour in. And this month we coloured in... Um, a very nice colouring book, volume one, because it's summertime one, of course. So we did Pink Lemonade Pucker. <laughs> and these are Prismacolor uh, Premier pencils. And I'm using, we are using other mediums, but I'm using um, 
the prismas because they're the easiest ones to convert for people so that they can um, use whatever pencils they want and so I had a lovely lovely time doing this stickles on the um, ice cubes in the little drink but I just adore these little mice so we're focusing on simpler pages on the patreon group and um, learning to um, shades and shadows and things and little bits and bobs like that as we go along so that was a very mice colouring book. Love colouring in that book. And then I did a page in by myself. I did a page in well, a double page actually in Carolina Kubikowska's Ticket to Dreams, which I hadn't done for a while. It'd been neglected. So I did this double page spread of um, this girl looking at again another sea theme because we'd just come back off of holiday. So um I, I did this one. Um, it could be brighter. It, it, I like the sky. I like how that turned out. And I love how I did the rock. So this is watercolour. This is uh, gouache. Um, I did the rock in gouache. And I think everything else is, is watercolour on it. But um, yeah, I'm pleased with how it came out. It handles the... It does go a bit crinkly. But it handles the water quite well. I mean, I sloshed it everywhere. Um, and it seems to have handled it quite well but yeah this is another that seaside feeling <laughs> so yeah so it was watercolours and gouache where's my little book let me um uh -huh. there we go um let me just check i've got everything written down ah the um the little mice was a hoo hoo markers and prismas and this was watercolour, Thule Art paint, pens, gouache. Yeah, so probably Thule Art paint pens up here, I suspect. Uh, and there's white here, looks like it. No, it's not, it's paint. So, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed doing that. It took way too long, way longer than it should have done, but I really enjoyed it. I love Carolina's um, books and they're very special. I've always enjoyed them, but... Uh, it was nice to be able to get back to Ticket to Dreams. And then our lovely Rebecca over the uh, the Art Spirits sent me some paints. And we did this on the channel together. <laughs> Look at the state of this page. <laughs> Not too impressed. This is um, Watercolour With Me in the Forest by Dana Fox. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, uh, I managed to mess up my bumblebee magnificently because um, the paper, can you see those beautiful shimmery paints? Aren't they gorgeous? They were the paints that Rebecca sent me. Um, this side here is, on the bumblebee has got the shimmer on it. Uh, the wings, and I think you can see it in the grass. But, yeah, so I had this plan for the bumblebee in the background, but the, war the paper wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. And this book, if you haven't seen it, you get like an outline just a faint outline and you're supposed to follow the lesson and of course I went rogue but at least I'll know now when we when we uh, when I color when I paint in here again and I will do because I love it that um, we I can't slosh as much water about but if you look at the squirrel's tail in here that is definitely like wet on wet technique so if you can't slosh a load of water over it then you're never going to get that you're not going to get that look so um, Anyway, that was the deranged bumblebee. Um, I did do... Yeah, I thought I did. Um, Paul Clark here on YouTube, an incredible artist, um, does printouts that you can do of his sketches. So talking of the squirrel, I did do a, um, a watercolour squirrel. <laughs> Not great, I know, but that was right at the beginning of the month, still learning. I just, I just don't think I can do like loose style watercolour I think I have to be more precise and I think that's that kind of control element that I've got in me but practicing like this Paul Clark says that you should practice loose colouring because it it will help uh, loose painting even because it will help take away that perfectionist um, concern that you have like well I'll explain as I go on in the video because there's a page in here which I had um, couldn't step aside itis and ruined the page. Um, but yeah, so I am going to practice more of those. But 
yeah, if you haven't seen him, Paul Clark is an incredible watercolorist, watercolor artist here on YouTube. And he will link you to a website, his website, where you can just download his sketches. So you just, I don't know if you can see, you get a very faint outline just to print off. And then you can follow his tutorial on YouTube. But he's, he's really, really good. And so, yeah, that was a good bit of fun. So I'll cover the deranged bumblebee, pretend that I never did that one. <laughs> but Rebecca's paints came out beautifully, didn't they? Didn't they do well? So that was Watercolour With Me in the Forest. So please be aware if you buy these books, they are very, very beautiful, but they won't take a lot of water. OK, then next was with Patreon again, and we're colouring through Universum. And Maria Trolls Universum. I'm sorry, I'm racing through this. I need to slow down. We did our first page. We did a pastel spring page of this beautiful little lady looking up at these at this little bird. So like I say, I've made a mess down here. We're focusing on um, blending and um, simpler pages and just relaxing colouring rather than being so stressed out um, with it and you know and if you're learning so I think it was just I think if I'm correct just a simple pencil background Prismacolor again would have been Thule Art paint pens it looks like I've got some paint out and done some splatters um, but yeah and a little she's got a little heart on her jumper why not yeah, very cute. What did we colour it with? I don't know if it was Prismas. I think it might have been. Um, let me see. Prismas, Tule Art Pens uh, and Acrylic Paint Splatters. Yeah, I thought they were. So, yeah, very cute. No stickles or any shininess on this one. And I think that's because we've got such a long way to go and I don't want all that bumpiness behind. So... That is um, Maria Trolls, Universum, and the videos over on Patreon. Um, and then on the channel, together, we did Layla Dooley's A Walk in the Woods. I absolutely adore this book. Oh, turn straight to it. And I did this one off camera. I was testing out my watercolours and really loved how it turned out. And then we did this one together on camera. And this paper, I, I didn't put a lot of water on it, but this paper, it's like, it, you know, it hasn't even bothered it. It's not, there is a slight little, slight little crease at the top there, but nothing, you know, not even bothered it. So we did this together on the channel, that one I did on my own. And I think I was a bit nervous down here because it just didn't come out as nice as that one, but I think that one's more detailed. And so you could do more with it. Whereas this one's more open space. But I did love, I do love it. And I intend to be doing lots more in here. So that was Layla Dooley's Walk in the Woods that we did, we did together. And then I, um, getting on with the watercolours again. Angela Harding, absolutely adore this book. This is Angela Harding's colouring book. And I did this page. Um, I did post it on Instagram. You guys seem to like it. I love how it came out. And um, I think I just used uh, Cotman watercolour paints for this one. Did we do this together or did I do it by myself? I think I did it by myself. Um, so I intend to be coming back and doing a lot more now. I've, I've, you know, I'm happy to do the watercolouring. I was thinking about doing that once a week, but I know people have requested that um, we go back to the old fashioned style of colouring and doing those things. So, I mean, I'm happy to do a little bit of watercolouring and a little bit of colouring. Um, it's just trying to please everyone. It's quite difficult, isn't it? And normally on a Monday, well, we'd have mini Mondays, but because this is the first of the month, I'm filming finished pages this week. So we'll have mini Mondays. I'm thinking of doing water medium Wednesdays and then full on Fridays where we get a, a colour with me. I don't hold me to that. That's what I'm thinking of because I'm not in any routine at the moment, not being at work. But uh, that's what I'm thinking about. 
and I'll just see how it goes. So, yeah, I love it. And this one's not 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 sustained any damage from being watercolored on. And there was quite a bit of water on here, but I absolutely love how this page came out. Love this book. So I'm going to be doing more in here with watercolors. I love it. And it's just in between coloring, folks, on the channel Patreon and membership, and my own that uh, my hands hurt so to be able to just watercolour is just is lovely and then I can I can go through my books and sit and really enjoy it without the pain you know that I get from in my hands another book we're doing in on Patreon um, we're working our way through all of these books so another book we're doing is RJ Hampson's Asleep and we did this beautiful page with alcohol marker base and then um, pencils over the top it has got stickles on her wings and it's also got glossy accents I don't know if you can pick up on that shine on the um, ladybird now I don't know if you can pick up on the shine oh, yeah you can look on that page yeah it was a quite a warm day in the UK and we finished the page and I said I always say to people if we've used stickles or glossy accents or anything don't shut your page, leave it overnight just to be safe. Left mine open, went downstairs and carried on and the wind blew my page shut. <laughs> Can you see it? Got a perfect wing imprint. So it kind of ruined the wings. <clears throat> they were they were lovely before. Uh, anyway, it sort of squished them out. Um, but I, <clears throat> thankfully I came upstairs before the glue had had chance to dry and was able to open it without the page ripping or anything because I, I really love how it came out. Um, there's such adorable li little images in this book and actually that took a lot longer than I thought it would. I think the video on Patreon is about an hour and a half long but they're such cute pictures and um, uh, just a massive congratulations to RJ. Um, he sent me this book, bless him. He, um, he's, he's got, this is um, available in uh, Colour in Heavens magazine. So um, you could get it instead of Amazon paper, you could get it on Colour in Heavens mag uh, magazine paper. Absolutely love this book. So we're coming back to that. So we're rotating these books each month. And then together we did um, a watercolour again in Melopanini Chazapana 2s. I hope I've said that right. Um, Circle of Life. So this was her first book. There's a new one coming, isn't there? There's one of these. There's a Joanna Basford and there's a Kirby Roseanne's book coming. All in, I think, October, I think they come out. And we did this as a watercolour picture together and as a tutorial or a colour with me and I absolutely love this. I love how it came out and I knew this would handle the uh, water really well. It's a little crinkle but then you're going to get that um, because it's the same publisher that Kirby Roseanne's publishes with and his paper is fabulous as well. So um, I absolutely love this page. It was just um, Cotman watercolour paints. Um, it, the video is on the channel just used indigo and made it darker in some spots. Then we um, obviously, we painted everything, but I think we did not on the eyes. I was so proud with how the eyes came out. I think we did a tiny bit of Posca work. Let me have a look. Uh, Cotman paint, we did a tiny little bit of um, Prismas. Uh, I can't, I don't even remember where we did the Prismas. I can't remember, but there's a video on the channel for it, but I'm so proud of how that came out for, you know, somebody that's learning. And Paul Clark will, it talks about muscle memory, you know, when you're painting and when you're learning these things and not to be put off by doing something like this in a colouring book. In fact, it's really important because we're learning to mix colours. We're um, teaching hand-eye coordination with the paintbrush and things like that, unless you've got hand spasms and shakes like me. <laughs> But yeah, so not to underestimate the importance of doing something like this in a colouring book. So, and also drawing daily as well. So that was um, Melopanini Chatsapana 2's um, Circle of Life we did together. And then um, there is a few more that I've done by myself. 
This is Romantic Country 2. This is the membership on YouTube. We are working our way through this book. We're well, well in our way. We do a page every week together as a tutorial. And we did this chapter two page. Now, this is my case of Can't Step Away Itis. I did the, um, this was well, this was Mini Monday last week. I did How to Colour These Trees. Um, I did All This Is Pencil. The mountains and the sky is acrylic paint and then a bit of pencil over the top on the mountains. Now I did, I had the clouds perfect and I was really happy with them, came off the video and then I thought oh I'll just, I'll just do this bit and I'll just do that and I ended up having to repaint the entire sky and put the clouds back in and now I hate them. <laughs> and that's what you get for what we call um, can't step away itis is what I'm calling it because I just have this I, I just have this thing where I look at it and think oh well if I just did that it would be much better and I go and do it and I ruin the whole thing so my advice to everyone is step the heck away is what I'm saying if you have look stop put your pencil down or your paintbrush stop are you happy with it does it look nice yes then leave it the heck alone because the amount of pages I've ruined by going back in and thinking, oh, I'll just do this tiny little spot, and it ends up, yeah. So that was, um, that's my little lesson for the week there, folks. <laughs> Can't step away itis is, is, is a real trauma for people. So, yeah, so that's the first page. And then we did, um, I think this is June, yes. Is it June? Or was this May? One second. I think this was. I think this was June. I've lost my little notebook now. I've put it. Where have I put it? Oh my gosh! I lose. Here it is. Um. I did write them down. Let me just check. I've got it right. Yeah. Uh. Oh, it might not have been. I think I might have done that last month. Stained glass. I do apologise. I think we did. Um, I'm sorry. I've done that one. You've seen those. <laughs> we did. Oh, we're currently working on the hawthorn tree. So this is part one that I've done this week. Uh, this week we'll carry on and get that done. So that's that one. Love how the skies come out on this. And my leafy backgrounds. This was a massive headache, but. It's done now, so we can just enjoy the nice bits of the scenery. So there's that. I think we did um, Uncle Willie's Barn. Sorry, folks. I always get confused. Done that. Oh, my goodness. Come on. See, there's so many pages we've done now. that uh, Here we did. We did this one. Um... Prismacolors again and Thule Art Pens and there is glossy accents in the glasses and the magnifying glass. There you go, you can see it now. And we did tortoise shell glasses which I was really pleased about. Um, so really happy with how it came out in the end. A very simple page compared to all the others but I'm really happy with how it did come out. Uh, where's Uncle Willie then? He was done all in pencils and I'm so pleased with him. You know, the, um, if you know the book. That needs to get back in there. I thought I'd put um, wax paper sticking out for the... I do apologise, I am sorry, bear with me. There it is. We did um, Uncle, Willing's, Uncle Willie's Cabin, I think it's called, isn't it? Um... Oh my goodness, my brain. Even with it written down, I can't find it. <sighs> yeah, I think it's something like that. Uncle Willie's, Uncle Willie's cabin, and it said that he was, um, the flowers growing in the front were the ones he was planning on planting in the castle grounds next season. But So I'm thrilled with this one. I love how this page came out. I'm learning myself so much by doing these weekly tutorials 
Um, I mean, things like this brickwork and these stones, I would have, have never have, have uh, attempted possibly before I'd started um, with with the membership group. So I'm thrilled to bits with every single one of these pages, apart from maybe my sky on chapter two page. It's like to, I even had to paint over the writing. <laughs> I love this bit, absolutely love it. So yeah, so that's our, that's my membership pages in Romantic Country. And then um, yesterday, the last day of the month, I was colouring in Emily Oldberg's fairy tales book. She has got a re-release of Saga Oxagna, I do believe it is. I've probably absolutely obliterated that um, name and it's not going to be called that. I think it's going to be called, um, let me just get it up. Uh, and I'll, Well, let me show you the page that I've done while I'm getting it up. So I did this page, I love it. <laughs> give, me, give me one second. I'll find it. Oh, it's good. It's fairy tales and folklore coloring book. A magical journey inspired by Scandinavian fables. It's in my wish list if you want to have a look and pre-order it. Um, but if you want to see a flip through, have a look. And it's Saga Oxagna. Um, or if you put in Emily Oldberg um, here, it will come up. YouTube, there's hundreds of them because it's an older book, but I think Colouring with Claire uh, campaigned to have it re released and they did, so I'm so happy about it. So, this is um, acrylic paint pens, entirely acrylic paint pens, not a pencil in sight. And I wanted, I mean, this book is very like, um, like um, folk art, isn't it? In fact, does it not even say that? It says somewhere that Emily was, that's what she liked to do. Um, I can't remember where I saw, where I read it, but. So I was trying to do it in the style of flat, il flat illustration. So I thought, well, I'll just do the title page and see what happens. If I don't like it, then I don't have to do it again. But I so enjoyed it. You know, even if you're looking at it now and thinking, well, it's not as good as your colouring, Lucy. You know, no, don't do that again. <laughs> I really love it. And I just cracked out the, um, I got Thule art pens and then I used the brush pens that I hadn't, that were, um, that um, uh, Artex had sent me. Um, I think it was two sets and then just, just went on like that. So I managed to blend the blueberries with a little tiny bit of water on a brush and the flowers would just, I put the purple in didn't let it dry and then went in with the lighter brush. Um, it's just these ones. Um, oh gosh, of course everything, these ones. This set. And they've got, um, absolutely love these. And they've got um, the brush tip on them. So you can just sort of stroke it in. But if you put them on the page and don't let it dry, you can blend it with a brush. So. Oh, it's so much fun, folks, honestly. And you won't believe um, just how easy and lovely it is to colour with them. So I really, really enjoyed it. Really loved. I love this little pop of blue-green that I've stuffed in there. And um, my Raspberry Ripple cupcake. Mm -mm. <laughs> so I intend to be doing a lot more in here. I mean, look at that. That would be magnificent. That is not um, anything to do with the pens. This is ink or paint or something I had on my hand when I was turning the page. So I'll have to stick something on it. <laughs> it's fine, I'll put a little sticker or something on it. Or I can paint over the background. But yeah, I mean, look at it's perfect, absolutely perfect for using those pens with and painting with because it's got that big, bold shapes and, you know, and it would ju it's just perfect for bright, bold colours. So I had an absolute blast doing this. So that's Emily's book. So like I say, if you like that style of art um, and you haven't heard of it before, if you put in Emily Ol uh, Lydell Olberg, you'll get a flip through of the book that's coming. This one's Fairy Tales. Um, but that the other one I think is called Saga Oxagna. I think, I could be wrong. But um, yeah, Emily Lydell Olberg. And if you want it, it's going to be a hardback book that comes out in 
I think it comes out, let me just have a look, in October. They're all going to come out in October. And um, yeah, just it's a nicer book than this one. So it's got much nicer pictures in it. And then Patreon again. Patreon we're doing um, Rita Berman's compilation book. And we've done, we did this one to start us off. So we did this little birdie. So this is Prismas and chalk pastel background with um, stickles in the centre of our little flowers. So we did a watercolour base. So we just literally put watercolour down as a base and then we went over with pencils um, over the top. And so these that video's there as well if you're interested. We're just going to work our way through this book which is a real pleasure to be able to, to do. So we do a video once a week and we rotate around those, around those books. I think that's all we've got up there at the moment. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so people voted on it. These were the people that, these were the um, books that people wanted to see. They wanted more simpler colouring from Romantic Country. So we got, although there's some complex ones in here, isn't there? There is some quite complex pages in here, but yeah so yeah really really enjoyed that and then um so that's my patreon um, members and then the last one to show you which is not very good but it was me prattling about at the beginning of the month in this beautiful book this is just a watercolor book and i just did my this is my version of this is gouache i think um ruth wilshaw's um on her channel she did a picture very similar to this. I changed it up a bit, but um, this was gouache. And it was that um, Himmy gouache, you know, the jelly cups. Oh my gosh, they're awful to work with. They're like, they're so sticky. So I watched a lot of artists and they were saying the same thing, that they found them to be really sticky and awful to work with. But so, but I really enjoyed this. This was another one, couldn't sleep. So I, they're very quick they don't take long but um yeah really really thoroughly enjoyed it so that folks is all of my pages so a couple of things i want to ask you what i want what i, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what I plan to do is continue with our mini mondays so that you get um it's possibly not even much of a shorter video it's about 20 minutes last week's mini monday of coloring those fir trees I'm planning on putting those up so you get a snippet and we can build up like a little encyclopedia of common objects that we'd find in our colouring books. So we can have, um, I've got a playlist called Mini Mondays and it will have, hopefully over time we'll build up a little library of, oh I forgot, I don't know how to colour that, I wonder if it's on the playlist and we'll have it there as a reference guide. Then I was thinking about maybe on a Wednesday, say, we could do some kind of water medium Wednesday where I, I do some colouring with um, either in a sketchbook and we just do a little design together or in a colouring book. And then, then I'm thinking of doing full on Fridays where you get a, um, a where you get a full colour along. Now, like I said, that's dependent on what's going on. It should be OK. But like, I don't want to get full on burnout, <laughs> which is why I want to do, which is why I want to do a watercolour one, because it helps with my hands and, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So we could either do like an individual work through a journal on a Wednesday, we would get like my little grey one, we could do a different picture in there on a Wednesday and then go back to our colouring on a Friday. But let me know your thoughts. I don't want to do it if I, if nobody wants to watch it. You know that you know, I, I understand you're here for pencil colouring, but there are a lot of people out there that do both. So um, if you are interested in that, let me know. Don't shout at me if you don't want to do it. Just tell me no. <laughs> no, thank you, Lucy. That's the polite way to do it. <laughs> anyway. That is all the pages and all the paintings and things I've done this month. Please let me know the answers to my questions. And once again, a massive shout out to little Zoe, who I hope you've watched and enjoyed the pages that we've done. I will get to your beautiful book you sent me. 
so I'm going to let you all go please answer the questions I've got in the comments below so I know what I'm doing you know I don't want to deliver content to you that you don't want to see so um, it, this is your channel as much as mine I'm just thinking it would be nice to explore our um, any hidden talents I was saying the other week that who are we to know that you don't pick up a paintbrush um, having done colouring and, and, been the, and, and be absolutely naturally talented at it. And I was looking up um, a lady, an artist called Nana Moses, and I think she was 70 something years old when she first picked up a paintbrush. She'd had 10 children, worked on a farm and she became an incredibly famous artist but had never had any experience. So who are we to say with a little bit of encouragement that that couldn't be you? You know, you could be the next person. So just saying. Look her up if you don't know our art. It's like a folk, folk art style. Um, Nana Moses. And yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy her art. It's absolutely incredible. So yes, just let me know your thoughts. I'm sorry I'm rambling on, but I'm just trying to... A bit of inspiration for you folks there. So... I will let you go and um, hopefully I will see you sometime this week then. I'll wait for your replies. Ooh, big spider's just crawled out the book. Ugh. It's gone. Ugh, gross. <laughs> oh. um, I'll wait for your replies to see what we're going to do and then um, we'll go from there. All right, my lovely friends. Thank you for joining me, for being with me. All your support, all your love. So until we meet again in the very near future, take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.